All right, what's up, gang? Welcome back to Kick Plays, Star Wars, Knights of the Old Republic. Uh, we left, left off, we explored the ruins and on Dantooine, and, uh, and now we're free to go where we want to go. Uh, we got a lot of friends with us. We're gonna have a good time. See if Bastila knows where we should go. How can I help? You look like something's bothering you. No, not bothering me. Not exactly. I've been thinking about what the Jedi Council said about the two of us. There is a bond between us. I do not dispute that. I can feel it, as I'm sure you can. The nature of that bond and its effect on our mission remain in question. I think you're interested in more than just the bond between us. Please. I'm a Jedi. Such feelings, such attractions are, well, they're beneath me, quite frankly. I admit, I find you intriguing. I, I, I mean, I find your command of the Force intriguing, but my interest in you is purely academic. Surely you can understand why. Our fates are strongly connected. So connected that a literal bond has been forged between us. I saw your service records when you were transferred aboard the Ender Spire, but nothing beyond that. I know very little about you. I'd like to ask you some questions, given our relationship. Our relationship? Who's this sounding? Fuck. Take two. Our relationship? Is this some kind of clumsy come on? I was referring to the bond we share. The one the Jedi Council spoke of. If I was actually interested in you, rest assured I could come up with a much better approach than this. <laughs> Whoa. Guess I touched a nerve there, huh? Touched a nerve? No. Getting on my nerves? Most definitely. I suppose this is what you men consider being witty. Now, are you going to answer my questions, or would you rather just keep annoying me? All right, I'll answer a few questions. Don't worry, these are simple questions, nothing too intrusive. First, what kind of background do you have? I'm a hut in human form plotting to overthrow the Republic. I see you intend to be childish about this. I guess I won't get anywhere continuing our discussion right now, will I? I suppose I'll just have to speak to you again later. Hopefully you'll behave a little less like a little boy, and a little more like a... like a man. Okay. That was coming on to me. You can say what you want, dude, but... That was absolutely coming on to me. Okay, so... Let's see, our options here are... Tatooine. Kashyyyk. Manon, Korriban. Oh, and Yavin. So let's, uh, let's go to Tatooine first. I hope to God we don't have to do a fucking space battle again. I know some of them you do, some of them you don't. Uh, fuck, please, God. Just hit hyper speed. Yeah, okay. All right. So, off to Tatooine. After a pretty little cutscene. Lord Malak, the Star Forge is operating at 200% capacity, far beyond our expectations. I am more interested in the young Jedi Bastila and her battle meditation. Have you learned how she escaped the destruction of Taris? She was aided by Karth Onasi, a decorated war hero of the Republic and a legendary soldier. During the Mandalore Wars, he was honored many times for his bravery. You know this man? Yes, Lord Malak. He served under me when I still followed the Republic. You could say I was his mentor. Interesting. How did you acquire this information, Admiral? An eyewitness, Lord Malak. Kalo Nord, a bounty hunter, was there when Bastila and Karth escaped the planet. Apparently, they left him for dead. A Jedi and a war hero. 
It's a wonder you survived the encounter. I am hard to kill, Lord Malak. Kahlo has agreed to help us capture the young Bastila for a very hefty fee, of course. But I assure you, he is well worth the price. His reputation as a bounty hunter is well earned. Her companions are nothing to me, Kahlo. But I desire the young Jedi taken alive, if at all possible. Lord Malak, forgive me, there is something else. May we have a private audience away from the ears of the common soldiers? I trust you are not wasting my time, Admiral Carath. I promise you will be very interested in what Kahlo has to tell you about Bastila's other companions, Lord Malak. Still looks better than the special editions. The Force has given us a, a vision, like the one we shared on Dantooine. Did you see it? Of course. You must have. The Force is strong with us both. Tatooine is known for little but blowing sand. I find it surprising that there would be a star map somewhere in its desolate wastes. It looked like it was inside some kind of cave. A star map would likely have to be within some kind of shelter to protect it against dust and sandstorms. I suspect there are many such caves and caverns hidden in the sands of the Dune Sea. The creatures of this world probably use them as their lairs. No doubt things will become more clear once we discover the star map's location. All right. Well. So, let's see, who are we taking with us? You? Add. And... Yeah, just we have some fucking cover. Alright. Welcome to Anchorhead, potential customer. Zerka Corporation stands ready to serve, after some formalities, of course. First, your ship is not on our list of planned arrivals for today. There is a docking fee of 100 credits because of this. Uh, fuck. What if I don't have the money? That would be unfortunate. Zerka Corporation can't afford to extend credit. Everyone pays. That's the rule. Is there any way you could reconsider the fee? I assure you that the fee is non-negotiable. We have a very thin margin of profit on this world. The money I save, I'll spend in your stores. That does make sense. I suppose I could let it go this time. We need the business. This will cover any future landings as well. It's like a registration. So we can serve you better when you return. 
Now, as a customs officer, I can provide information on services. Is this visit business or pleasure? I need some good paying work. What is there to do on Tatooine? It depends on what level of risk you want to take. You could ask at the Zerka office if any bounties need collecting. That's in the central anchor head. While you're at the office, ask for a hunting license so you can sell trophies to Faza in his lodge, just north of them. I suppose you could also take up swoop racing. Talk to the hut at the registration office by the track. That's in West Anchorhead. I can't say I know which of these jobs is the most dangerous. I stay away from all of them. Give me some background on Tatooine. There isn't much to tell. It's a very old planet, well past its prime. Zerka Corporation is the only company with any interest in it. It's not a very pretty world, but there is opportunity here if you know where to look. Tell me about Zerka Corporation's operations here. I can't really get into that. It hasn't been a very smooth operation. I shouldn't get into it. Come on now, friend. Let me in on the details. I'm sorry. It's not really a big secret, but my superiors don't like people talking about it. Fair enough. Let's get back to my other questions. I will answer as best I can. What will you need while on Tatooine? Actually, I really need to get going. As you wish. If you need anything else, I'll be here. Alright. So, there's a locker over here. Cool. Anything over here? No. What shipment? What are you talking about? Excuse me, did you say Giska? send you this ain't about credits is it I'm looking for experts you seem knowledgeable oh of course who put you up to this my wife I mean what I said about having no credits I want to ask who you are and what it is you do well my name is Tannis and what I do is hunt I'm sure you've heard of me well actually I hope you haven't 
Where's the best hunt? There isn't any. Too many hunters, not enough prey. I can barely keep expenses covered. Maintenance on battle droids is expensive. Of course, it's better than going alone. What if I stumbled on a bunch of sand people? These solo hunters are crazy. You hunt with battle droids? Is that sporting? What do I care? I need to eat. I also need to pay for parts so the wife can keep the droids running. It's all about the credits. Some guys will talk about honor and stuff, but they still sell their plates to Faza. I guess honor needs creds too. How long have you been at this? Too long. But it beats smuggling. You ever run into a Sith Dreadnought in the desert? No, you haven't. You cost crash with a Sith Dreadnought? Hell, I married her. <laughs> no, no, seriously now. I had this friend that crossed Sith space and got stripped of everything. It's not like I have much now, I guess. But I still prefer sand people to get ambushed on unproven trade routes. You go on about your wife a lot. What's the deal? Ah, she doesn't understand me. You know the drill. It's not my fault. She knew who I was when she married me. Let's get back to my first question. Fine, fine. Whatever you want. I'm looking for something. Who knows this planet best? Who knows the planet? I don't know. I guess the sand people. I'm usually running when I see them, though. You ever seen the sand people with anything odd? Uh, sure. My blood. They almost got me last year. Tore up two of my battle droids. Wife was mad about that. <laughs> Took her weeks to fix. Where they got weapons to cut battle armor, I don't know. They act like animals, but they can surprise you. I have to leave. Wait, what about the job? Smart traders. They've salvaged and sold me my own damaged droids once or twice. They don't say much I can understand. I think they're a little slow, but who am I to judge, huh? <laughs> I have to leave. Goodbye. Good hunt. Y'all move. Hmm. Guess I don't get the fucking shit here. What's going on here? Who are you? Kuyami Juskuna Jitanai. Gina Kun Mama Rulira Rachikun. Slimo Patona. Mundi Hotona Chihokabi. La Boda Ni Winkis Matoma. Wana Kun Bes Ching Pama Rulira. Top Ching Bang Non Kit. Can I help you? These are the offices of the Zerka Corporation. I trust you have business with the company? If this is about employment, I'm afraid all regular mining positions are full. And before you ask, we are also no longer selling hunting licenses. I want to ask about hunting licenses. As I said, we are no longer selling them. There are too many people cavorting about outside the walls as it is. There's no way to get a license? Well, normally we charge 200 credits, but I could make an exception if you agreed to perform a task for us. It's similar to hunting. The sand people are becoming a problem. They destroy our sand crawlers and kill our miners. One particular tribe is the worst. It's as if their chieftain has decided to wage war against us. I would like their <laughs> attacks terminated. Bring me their gaffy sticks as proof. If you agree to do this, I'll give you a hunting license now and pay a bounty for each stick later. I'll give a bonus for the chieftains. Why pay for the gaffy sticks? Why not their heads? Which would you rather have dumped on your office floor? Besides, they're ceremonial weapons, unique to each warrior. It's just as good. I will agree to do this for you. Excellent. Now, just so we understand each other, this is an enforceable contract. Zerka Corporation takes this very seriously. Here's your license, and a few directions. We believe one of their enclaves is in the far south of the Dune Sea. You might try following one of our sand crawlers. They're regularly attacked. I wouldn't mind you escorting them. 
I'll go get to it then. Very good. Zerka Corporation looks forward to your future business. Alright, well. We got something to do at least. Is this about Zerka wanting the same people chieftain killed? Intelligent or not, the sand people have killed people. <laughs> Why has anyone tried talking to him? We are just too much tonight. In a cool mama, really rah, Rachikun, Slim of Adona, Mundi Adona Chikokabi, Raboda, and even his Matoma, one of the best Ching Pama Rurira, Top Ching Bang Non Kit, Top Ninja Mura Rabes, Kuyami just too much tonight. In a cool mama, really rah, Rachikun, Slim of Adona, Mundi Adona Chikokabi. Who would have a capable droid? Raboda, and even his Matoma, one of the best Ching Pama Rurira, Top Ching Bang Non Kit. Where would that enclave you mentioned be? Where would you get robes to match theirs? We are just too much tonight. In a cool mama, really rah, Rachikun, Slim of Adona, Mundi Adona Chikokabi, La Boda, and even his Matoma, one of the best Ching Pama, really rah, Top Ching Bang Non Kit, Top Ninja, Mira Rabes. Maybe I'll look into it. We are just too much tonight. In a cool mama, really rah, Rachikun, Slim of Adona, Mundi Adona Chikokabi, La Boda, and even his Matoma. Alright. So we need to go that way. <laughs> How can I help? You have something you want to ask me? I do. How did you know? Well, you keep staring at me. See anything you like? You are easily the vainest, most arrogant man I have ever met. Besides, I know you can't be serious, since I was purposefully not staring in your direction. I am a Jedi, remember? I have far too much mental discipline to reveal what goes on inside my mind with such obvious physical clues. My thoughts remain hidden, including whatever my feelings are for you. I, I mean, whatever I feel... I mean, whatever I think about you. You're so cute when you're embarrassed. I... That is you... Why must you be so impossibly infuriating? You know very well what I am really talking about. I am referring to the bond between us, the one the Jedi Council spoke of. Our connection allows us glimpses into each other's mind. We can feel some of what the other feels. This has to be so fucking awkward as her car. A Padawan must receive <laughs> considerable training. They must learn to control their emotions and darker impulses. Often it takes years before using the Force can be considered safe. The fact that you are so strong in the Force and have had such relatively little training could have terrible consequences. For you, and for everyone around you. Foreshadowing! Do 
You could warn me when I do something bad. Blink once for dark side, twice for light. This is not a joke. The choices you make could affect both our destinies. Not to mention the fate of the Republic and the entire galaxy. There is much at stake. Thankfully, you've exhibited a degree of compassion and self-control up to this point. I sincerely hope you can maintain these traits in the future. We must all resist the influence of the dark side. It's everything we are fighting against. This is doubly important for you, with your natural affinity for the Force. I will try. That's good to hear. Without the proper training, however, I'm afraid you will find the path difficult, even with the best of intentions. There's a great danger ahead for both of us. Our destinies are intertwined. Everything one of us does will have consequences for the other. Any reckless behavior on your part is likely to affect me as well. I won't do anything to hurt you. I believe you truly mean what you say. You know, sometimes it is not so easy to keep such promises. Your power could be a gift or a curse. When you need guidance or advice or support, I will do my best to help you stay on the path of the light. I doubt I'll be a risk to the mission. No, of course not. Not yet. But there will be challenges ahead that might make it otherwise. I only hope I have the wisdom to help you through the dark times. But for now, we should return to our mission. All right, well. Be sure we're going this way. Okay. Lord Malak was most displeased when he learned you had escaped Terrace alive. He has promised a great reward to whoever destroys you. Double blade, nice. All right. Um. Yeah. Okay. Oh, and yes. No, not yet. Uh -huh. Well, might as well. Yes. Okay. We're going the right way. No one leaves Anchorhead without proper authorization. I've got authorization. Well, let's see it. Come on. Here's my hunting license. All right. I'll just scan that and you're off. I'll keep it on file, too. Good luck out there. You'll need it. All right. 
Fuck. Fuck. Okay. Hello there. You're heading out into the desert? You're a hunter, right? You must be if you've been allowed to leave Anchorhead. When you see Tannis, and I know you old boys always stick together, tell him his wife hopes he enjoys the anniversary gift. Anniversary gift? What are you talking about? Just a little something to remember me by. Something that symbolizes our years together. Something that will blow up in his face. Of course, he'll never understand how appropriate it is. He can't talk his way out of this one. He's not smart enough. You sound like you're planning to kill him. Oh, I'm through planning. I just left him a little mess that he has to take care of. If he's smart, he'll be just fine. But he's not smart. Um, all right. What if he has a message oh, for you? Oh, I'll be long gone soon enough. The next shuttle to anywhere, really. I've had it with cleaning up his messes, repairing his droids. If he lives, he can try and get by on his own. I doubt he'll last long with no one to listen to his lies. I have to go. I'm sure you do. Like I said, when you see him, tell him his wife Marlena says hello. Okay. Alright, let's see here. There's nothing explored yet. Okay, um... There's something over here. So, might as well go check that out. think about joining all the Jedi who were running off to follow Revan and Malak when they went to fight the Mandalorians? That was nearly five years ago. I was still an apprentice. My battle meditation hadn't even manifested itself. Yet even then I had the wisdom to obey the will of the Council. Unlike Revan. I guess. Still, do you ever wonder if things could have been different? I mean, would Revan and Malak still have been corrupted if the Council had supported them instead of dragging its feet? Do not blame Revan's corruption on the Council. Your Republic saw only the threat of the Mandalorians, but the wisdom of the Masters saw beyond the immediate threat. What did they see, exactly? There was something lurking out there. Something that devoured Revan and Malak, and many other Jedi. Had the Council sent us all into the unknown, how many more would have fallen? So you're saying we should have done nothing? Just let the Mandalorians conquer us on a post? I mean, the Republic was under attack, and the Order abandoned us. We did not abandon you. But the Council were not about to throw lives away foolishly. In time, we would have aided you against the Mandalorians. But you couldn't wait. Revan and Malak offered a quicker answer. And the Republic chose to walk the easy path, rather than the path of wisdom. Now we see the results all around us. You asked me if I think things could have been different. I know they could have. If Revan had only listened to the Council, millions of innocent people would still be alive. Yeah, right. And every single one of them would speak Mandalorian. I, I think we're done. Let's just get back to the task at hand. Okay. Cool. But, like... Well... Yes? Ready. Yes? Just ignore the Tuscan Raider with the lightsaber, folks. Nothing to see here. Yeah. 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 
Didn't work. refuse to pay you anything. Perhaps I could persuade you not to do this. If you let me go, I'll tell others how smart you are. Okay, so I can't go that way. But quit doing that. Huh. Let's 
seem to be, uh, doomed. Hey there, thanks for stopping. I appreciate it. I've been stuck without water for hours. Wasn't looking good. Oh, hey, it's you. I remember you at Foz's place. Could I get you to help out a fellow hunter, please? What happened here? Well, uh, it would appear that I've worn out my welcome with my wife Marlena. She fixes my droids. <laughs> Fixed them good this time. This should be interesting. I triggered some sort of trap she programmed. She probably figured I wouldn't be smart enough to get out. There she was right. What do you want me to do? The wife put a kink in my battle droids. They're in some sort of discharge loop. And if I move from this spot, they're threatening to blow up. She knew I wouldn't know how to fix them. If you try to do some repairs, they don't care if you move. It's just me who's stuck. <sighs> well, I guess we should help him out. Yes, yes, I knew I liked this fella the minute I saw him. I say leave him. You're pretty heartless for such a pretty lady, you know. I take it back. Let's congratulate his wife. I'd, uh, really appreciate a bit of help. Please? All right, I'll try to help. Hold on. Just access each droid's repair interface. You'll have to do some tinkering, but be careful. One explosion, I can survive. Any more than one, and I'm dead. Oh, and uh, ignore the message Marlena left in there. No way do I deserve this, I swear. Okay, I'm no fucking clue. Um, certainly not, but well, one way to get rid of it. Having fun on the dunes, Tannis? I made sure you would. Here's the deal. Your precious droids have trapped you. They'll hold you until you die of thirst. Make a mistake while repairing them, they explode. Have a good death. My mother was right about you. Okay. Node 1 reports Node 2 failed. Node 3, Node 2 reports Node 3 failed. Node 3 reports Node 2 failed. Probably not. I don't know. I don't feel like thinking about it. No. Well. Well. I tried to help. Yes.
Yes? Now, can I go... Didn't work. Avoid the mines. Let's check on this corpse. Good. What can I do? Sand people. No time for pants, Bascula. We have to kill. All right. All right, fine. Ready? Yes. What? We can put on pants now. Yes? Ready. What can I do? Sure.
Alright. Time to level up. Uh, what's our lowest? Oh, no, okay, can't do that. Repair? Okay. Powers. Kill. I can't do that yet. Okay. Um, push. I like the whirlwind. Drain life. Ooh, drain life is good. Yeah, I'm gonna go with drain life. Dark side powers are just better from an offensive standpoint. We move on. God damn it. Okay. Might as well try out that new toy we got. Stick. Go to Anchorhead. They're too busy fighting me to operate the turrets. Good to know. How can I help? Nothing, damn it. Then I suggest we move on. Save here. Let's go! Ready? 
Um, okay. Let's, uh, yeah. I just want the fucking gaffy sticks, dude. Just leave me alone. All right. Well. I feel like I should probably definitely save here because I feel like there's going to be like a lot of bullshit um, outside the walls. So, what? ready. I'm here. What? All right. Where are we? Y'all got me turned around. Okay. Exit to Doom C. I wonder if we put back on our, or do we not have them anymore? We don't have them anymore. Okay, that's fine. What? Yes. God damn it, not the time. <laughs> That's funny, it's just Okay, fucking time money. To Fuck it through. Arthur, if you don't fucking move, dude. Yes. 
Yes. Ready. Yes. So when I escape the Dune Sea, now I'm more fucking. Okay, dude, I get it. Alright, I think that's everything. So, yeah, let's... I don't care. go back to the Zerka office and collect our bounty for all of these gaffy sticks that we got. <coughs> Do you know anything about this place? Tatooine is a dry planet that has not been inhabited long and has little law. 
This town of Anchor may be the only settlement. Beyond that, there is little else I can tell you. You wanted to speak to me? Yes, I did. I wanted to speak to you about our mission and what lies ahead for us. It seems fate, or the Force, is driving us into a confrontation with the Dark Lord. You must prepare yourself for when we face Malak. The confrontation will be difficult for you. I remember how hard it was when I first faced Revan. Is it true you killed Darth Revan? It's true that due to my battle meditation, I was with the Jedi Strike team that boarded Revan's ship. We did not kill Revan, however. That's not what I heard. Our mission was to capture Revan if possible. It was Malak who turned on his own master, firing upon Revan's ship while we were still on board it. It was his desire to kill <coughs> us and his master both. Thankfully, we narrowly escaped the vessel as it exploded. So Malak did your job for you then? As I said, we were there to capture Revan alive. The Jedi do not believe in killing their prisoners. No one deserves execution, no matter what their crimes. Remember that Revan and Malak were once great Jedi, heroes in every sense of the word. They demonstrate the danger of the dark side to us all. I'm sorry, you really shouldn't speak of this anymore. The memory of my confrontation with Revan is painful. Let's return to the mission, please. Okay, you wanted to talk to me. And now you've got me all turned around and shit. Alright. No, I don't want to talk to Karth right now. God damn it, quit getting me turned around, y'all. Greetings again from the offices of Zerger Corporation. Is this about bounties or something else? I have Gaffy sticks to redeem for bounties. I see that, but do you have the all-important chieftain's Gaffy? That was what you agreed to get for us. Yes, here it is. Well, that is a very big headache that you've removed. I'm sure there are still sand people out there, but they'll be quieter now. I think I'll give you a bonus for this. You've more than lived up to your side of the bargain. Zerka Corporation thanks you. For a bit more, I could maintain my vigilance in the future. I think you'll find that the reward I've given is more than adequate for the task. No more is deserved. Hand over more, I'll bury the same as the sand people. <clears throat> While I respect your forcefulness, I must remind you that ours are the finest and only guards in Anchorhead. It would simply be inadvisable to attempt such an action in here. There would be no place for you to run. I don't fear you here. That amount will suffice. I'm sure. Zerka Corporation thanks you again. Well. I mean, there's more stuff to do on Tatooine, but for the time being, I think this is where we're going to, um, to wrap things up for the day. So, yeah, tune in next week and we'll find that blasted, uh, whatever it is, star map piece thing. Uh, like and subscribe, and as always, may the force be with you. So long.